Hey everybody, it's episode 4 of Superman and Lois, last time. Edges, second in command. Remember that girl? Who was said to Lois on her way out after she resigned? That Edge will destroy you. She's the... The laser girl. I'd be more, more worried about her than Edge destroying her. You know, imagine if she just lasered her there in the, the boardroom. <laughs> What do you mean you quit? Um, but do, do they know that... They don't know about Superman, right? No, of course, they couldn't know that. They couldn't know that. Do they know that she's friends with Superman? Yes. Interesting. Interesting stuff. Meanwhile, Jordan's joining the football team. He's like, hey, we're being bullied, Jonathan. But me, with my super strength, or super sturdiness, I'm going to join the football team and kick their asses, you know? Launched them. Not into orbit yet, but across the field. Oof. My, I, I, I would be a terrible football player. Um, the coach is loving it, though. And then Clark, who had been eavesdropping for the in the early episode, there was a whole thing about, don't violate her. Violate our privacy, Dad. So he's joined the football coaching staff so that he can violate their privacy. <laughs> so he can <laughs> keep an eye on things. <laughs> Which, he makes sense, you know? Just in case Jordan goes crazy, kills a bunch of people, you know? At least he'll be there to see it. Um, yeah, so most of the episode was just about the football stuff. And then there was side mission with Lois, Chrissy, investigating Edge, and then this guy following them and trying to dissuade them, and then he just, Edge just kills his own guy, which is, don't you need him? Do you have an infinite supply of them? It's a strange play just to, to kill the guy, you know, just because he failed his mission, because Superman stopped him. What do you mean Superman stopped you? Die! Luther wasn't in that last episode, so maybe he'll be in this one. Oh, and we had a bridge. Superman took a bridge and brought it to America. He's always bringing things to America. He's like, I got the Eiffel Tower as well. Saved it. Plants it in Vegas. I presume that's how it got there. Anyway, let's watch episode four. This catch me. What the? What's going on? Meteor showers? Super meteor shower? Um, now the resurrection begins. It's Morgan Edge. She found other people. Oh, he also enjoys football. Why is he looking at Lana? Lana, then I insist you join us for dinner. I would like to sleep with your wife, Kyle. Do you, are you okay with that? Do you like me that much? Letting everyone see him as this man of the people. You know, he just likes his football. Dad? I know it's a surprise. Jeez, everybody's... <laughs> it's the football game. Of course we're all here. And Jimmy Olsen's also here. Kent! Yes, coach! No, the other Kent. No, not you. The other one. <laughs> George Sack! <laughs> Look, I need you. Do your me. thing. I need you to get me that ball. Wait for this. Okay, you can do it. Just go. Of course, he, I'm not worried about whether he could do it or not. I'm worried about the other team. Go short stack. It's where he was like tiny. Dosh. Oh, you're down. That was pretty tame. Pretty tame. Touchdown. Good job, Jordan. You, you did your job. Jonathan, you were also there. Something you want to tell me? <laughs> you saw that, eh? You can tell. Is it that obvious? You should have seen training. Short stack. John Kent. Yeah. <laughs> How could you not tell me? Oh, what? shit. Clark and I can handle this. Clark, how's he helping? By coaching the team? He's involved, which is a hell of a lot more than you ever were. Yikes. Called him out. Don't tell him about the Molotov cocktail in the last episode. You'll go crazy. Nobody's seen you in the skies. Crime groups like Intergang are already planning an uptick of activity. They're moving Thaddeus Kilgrave. Oh, shit. Kilgrave. If anything goes wrong, I will be there. But I'm not throwing away time with my family for a show of good faith it's just it's just a post-football celebration sam 
Kind of miss that. Kilgrave will be fine. Let me get my bag from the car. Stick around this weekend. Okay, but you're sleeping on the lawn. Injury? Did the doctor give you like a timeline for getting that off? Or... Months? Maybe in time for playoffs? Looks like a months thing. You work at my bank. Uh, Kyle, uh, Kyle, yes, do you want to notice no this? Banking can be a harsh business. Limiting to someone with your potential. You're going to give her a promotion? You could have done anything you wanted. And yet you chose to come back here where your options were limited. somewhat limited. I like it here. If you want to make a real impact, I can be a resource. What do you have in mind? Do you want to stick me with a media rock or something and turn me into a superhero? Your old contract for your lawyer. What? We're aware of the piece you intend to publish tomorrow. How could you know that? Any such action would be in breach of your previous contract. I told you he would crush you. Just we're worried about you. See ya. Until this gets worked out, I, I can't risk publishing a word you write. Okay. Can I go home then? Who's this kid, by the way? Focusing on him a lot? Is something gonna happen here? Um, I don't think this is doctor approved. Oh, he's got super speed. What's happening to you, buddy? What is happening to me? Yeah. I think maybe lots of people are gonna get powers in this show. Oh, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Well, that's why he plays defense. I'm on the bench and then Jordan's got the game ball. Yep. Well, it's not taking over the whole team. Yeah, it's just one position, you know? Clark! Gorgeous husband, love of my life, really, and my Ooh, dear me? personal champion. Yeah? Tiny favor to ask. Uh -oh. Does it have dreaded and I can't technically speak out about Morgan? Oh, do you want to speak out? Yeah, I'll be there. Great. Uh, could you give me a speech? Me. I just found out Edge is at the mines. If you wait, I can go with you. No, I got it. You have practice. Can I, I can handle myself. Can I listen in? Just in case? He did literally try to have you killed. There's no way I let her go without listening in. Morgan Edge bringing jobs in. Yeah. So what? Just ignore the fact that he's a jerk? He made me uncomfortable and you didn't even notice. Yeah, he was distracted with the mayor. Is that where our marriage is at? I mean, I could have been a jerk to your boss too, but then you would have been pissed at that, right? Wait, that, that came out wrong. Whatever, I need some air. <laughs> it's a pretty normal argument. I was raised in Oh my god, in who cares? <laughs> Let's just lay it all on the table. Okay. There's other towns, other mines. Why are you going to all of this trouble? I was curious. I was about to ask you the same question. Yeah. Why are you coming here? With your unemployed husband and two adolescent boys. He's working for the school football team for free. Counts. You're past your prime, playing a high-stakes game Yikes. with a losing hand. For now, I'm done with you unless this creep show has anything to add. Hey. I didn't think so. No need to insult her. <laughs> Careful. You know what? You could have caught that pass. Had you not gone to that keg party and busted up your arm? Yeah, but coach. Look at this. Look what I do. This game is 20% physical. This kind of stuff. Ooh, Jonathan's going to talk to him. I need your sit rep on Kilgrave. Go. Oh, yeah, Kilgrave. Remember? Prisoner is in transit. Nothing's gonna go wrong with Kilgrave. Do you happen to have the time? The time I got out of here? Uh, knock him unconscious. See, the thing is, that's not chewing gum. It's explosive. But Jump out the window, guys. You're done for. Two. They're done for. Right. Oh, is he gonna see the crazy shit going on? Tag. Are you phasing right. through reality? Oh, Clark can hear it. Confirm prisoner. Ooh, he has to make it. R. He has to make a choice. Possible threat level. Thanks, fellas. A little help with my jacket. What happened to your cat? It's driving me crazy. So, so uh, I. Merged. We'll talk about it later. Okay, I have a call. I gotta go. I mean, this is this is the right call. We can talk about it later, unless the other guy goes and kills the coach or something straight away. This is pressing. Please diaper. See you soon, Big Blue. Well, he got away. All out in the open. You have an obligation to. Don't waste his time. With your bullshit. <laughs> Lives are at stake. Understood? Like today, Jonathan. What were you thinking? Yes, sure. What do you think? You want to go to a woman's party or what? Ooh, party, yeah. Tag? 
Now, Morgan Edge made a lot of promises. And the fact is, he kept... He delivered on them. I say, what are we waiting for? He's a great guy. Exactly. Oh, where's Clark? He's still scouring Metropolis for the other guy. He won't be here to give the speech. Did Clark ever respond? He must be busy. Assistant coaching the football team. <laughs> he does a lot on the farm. Oh. I've never seen him do anything on the farm, but okay. Hey, it's Clark. Leave a message. Hey, where are you? Saving lives, folks. Saving lives. Do you want me to grab a drink tonight? All in favor of granting Edge Intercorp exclusive Oops. rights to... All opposed? Nay! Edge is like, have that one killed. Lois didn't even vote nay. It's just Chrissy. Lois. Okay, yeah. fine, I'm mad. And I know it's irrational because I understand that there were lives at stake, but this was yeah. so important to me. Feels like I'm really far down on your list of priorities. Okay. I mean, I get it. She gets it too. She gets that she's being irrational and a bit, I think. Because when you're, you have lives on one hand and a speech the other hand. Tag. Hey, hey Tag! Sweet Arms party, better. dude. Arms all better, What's up, baby. Oh, wait, so just healed like that or what? Yeah, it just healed. Who knows? Who cares? Have a beer. Well, you know, I just needed more time for drugs and alcohol. Yeah. We could always use nice more drugs and alcohol. Up. Showing me the courtesy of doing your job. I don't really think of it as a job, General. He's getting it from Lois, he's getting it from Sam. How about we figure this out together? I will tears to that. Now let's get crazy drunk. Say things we shouldn't. I kind of feel bad for your brother. Popular kids like Jonathan don't really know how to function as outsiders. Feels like for the first time in a while, I'm happy. Wow. Okay. Maybe it's because you got really lucky with the company you keep. What are you talking about, Sarah? What company? What's going on, dude? Oh, he's gonna vibrate the whole frickin' town. Uh, hey, 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 hey! Hey, hey! What's going on? Watch your own business! Uh-oh. He's gonna do something. Nope. I'll go check on it. That's, yeah. Whew. Oh Here's shit, he's got a weapon. To work. Supersonic ear melter. Oh, almost got him. Tag, you okay? Ooh. Breathe, just breathe, it's gonna be okay. Okay, control it. What the hell is. Trust me. Okay. Do your thing. What's gonna do? Hug him? Hey. Oh, I thought he was neutralizing him, but. Sword. Nope. Oh shit! Oh, we need to get out of here now. We need that. Kill Gear's down. Coming get him. Go, go, the go. Medical go. units. Dad. He's coming. He's coming. It'll help calm you down. Okay. I thought he was throwing him into space. Uh, I think he's unconscious. Yeah. But Jordan, look, I, I do know this. You would never hurt anyone, ever. So whatever happened, it was an accident. There was another material present, a yellow phosphorescence. We think that may have triggered the boy's metahuman development. He's gonna go to a special school for kids with these sorts of abilities. X-Men? Why didn't you call me the minute you knew something was wrong? Uh, cause, oh, cause he told us. Grandpa said, don't waste your dad's time. Uh you cannot tell the boys not to come to me for help! You keep pushing us, you won't be welcome here anymore. Fine. I'll get my things. Pack up my tent from the front lawn. Lois. Never see me again until next episode. Careful, that's starting to sound like a compliment. Crazier things have happened. Jeez, they're gonna do it right here in front of the kids. Ew! Yeah, you can't be seeing that short ass shit over breakfast. Surprised. Oh, it's a surprise! It's not even her birthday. Was it a special romantic meal? For two? And I thought we could play a little catch-up. <laughs> really hope something doesn't go wrong in the world. Like, in the next ten minutes. My first thought of the day. And my last thought at night. Oh, it's her. She's his number one priority. Hey, Sam. There's a situation in Malawi. Not a priority yet. Damn it. 
goddammit, Malawi. Go. I'll be fast, I promise. Pick me up something nice from Malawi, please. Bring back a bridge or something? How'd that feel, Sam? Jeez. Still remember what Luther told you? What was he calling? Ghost? Like... I have reason to believe we may need to consider a contingency plan. Call it Project 7734. What? The anti-Superman plan? Makes sense. Thanks. Land? What's in here? Oh, it's Controls the... enough ex-Kryptonite to okay. resurrect an army. Yes. Assuming we can find enough willing candidates. As you know, I have an eye for talent. Here? He, I think he wanted land on You know? He was like, this one. He saw her at the football game? So I presume Jordan's heat vision interacted with like some of this stuff and went into what's his name? Tat? Yeah, it's funny because in this episode there was a Thaddeus Kilgrave and a tag. <laughs> a, a tad a tad tad and a tag. Um yeah, I love Superman's solution to uh, tag going crazy. Just to fly him up so high that he just falls unconscious. He's like, I can't breathe up here, Superman. Also, were Jonathan and Jordan in danger? Was he coming at them to kill them in the forest? Was he just randomly... Because it did seem like they were in danger, imminent danger, unless Superman got there quickly. But I think it was just random chance that he happened to be shimmering towards them. Like, oh, help me, help me, shimmer. And now he's gone off to hang with Professor X or whatever this universe's equivalent is. And who knows how many other people are going to develop powers? Or what Edge has in store for people? And obviously why he came to Smallville and why he wanted the mining rights to that was for the, the rocks, you know? He doesn't want to give people jobs, that's for sure. And maybe New Carthage had, New Carthage had the promise of that sort of thing too. And that's why it didn't work out. Or maybe the missing people found some rocks and they're like, ooh, rocks, ooh, and Edge just killed them before they could say anything. You know, there could be some conspiracy like that. And poor Chrissy, you know, she goes along to that meeting. She is the only person who votes nay, publicly votes nay, in front of everybody. And uh, good for her, good for her. Although that is a big target on her back. But at least she can say, I told you so. Well, all the dust settles. I know Sam is the big I told you so guy, but Chrissy will be able to do it now. And then Lois and Lana go get drunk. Although they did, we only saw them like have one, one drink. It was the tamest getting drunk together scene I've ever seen. <laughs> and I get that the show is called Superman and Lois so the focus has to be a lot on their relationship um, but the thing they fell out over seemed very tame you know sure we we know as the audience that Edge getting winning this vote giving him access to all this stuff will lead to potentially lots of people dying in the future and therefore it's more important to stop him than it is to deal with Kilgrave at that particular moment. Um, but on the other hand, when when you're not the audience, Kilgrave potentially going to kill lots of people, you know, dangerous criminal, got to deal with him versus this, this billionaire is going to win a vote. I need you to make a speech to see if maybe you can... Turn the vote a little bit. I don't think I don't think whatever Clark would have said would have changed their minds too much, because Kyle would have been like, "What does he know? He's 
big city guy. He thinks he can come back to our town and tell us what, um, although maybe Clark could have gone, I'm unemployed. And uh, <laughs> surely I would want jobs if I thought that uh, Edge was bringing them, but I don't. <laughs> so maybe it would have worked. I don't know. Interesting to think about how things could have gone down. And Jonathan, the, dealing more in this episode than he did in last episode about how Jordan joining the football team is affecting him. And they really highlighted it this episode that Jonathan was feeling a bit outcast, kind of dropped from the team, not really mingling, not make, making many friends with people. And he admitted at the end that he was, you know, feeling a bit jealous. But he instantly apologized for it and instantly turned it around, instantly was there for Jordan, telling Jordan that there's no way that his brother would ever hurt anybody intentionally. What a guy. What a guy. Um, now, I think that Jordan could hurt somebody if he was pushed to it. Um, especially when you're that age and you're you know, you get angry so quickly at things. Um, when you haven't had the experience to control that, that emotion, like we saw at the bonfire, you know, the ocular, what do they call it? <laughs> Just came out, you know, and he could have easily killed somebody at that occasion. Not deliberately, of course. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what they do with those two brothers. Now, I think there's going to be a break in this show after the next episode. We got one next week, and then there's a two-month break. So, damn it. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to be a shorter season overall. Uh, I, could, uh, I could look that up, but I'm not going to. Maybe the first season's going to be particularly short, but I guess we'll find out. One thing I noticed about the show is that the color grading, the, they're going for a darker, grittier look. Um, it looks really well when for some of the action shots with Superman, especially at night. Uh, the contrast between the, the grim, dark background and then the the blue and the red and the you know the superman suit really works but when we get to the school stuff it makes all of that seem a bit more kind of dark and depressing sort of i feel like they could maybe find a better balance with that if i was if i was running the show <laughs> um i've been noticing it for a few episodes that the school looks a bit grim and dark and depressing and kind of the town as well. Um, and maybe that's that's going to work well for the show. But for me, just just a tingy color, just a bit of bit of brightness, you know, a bit of comedy, a bit of lightness to the show to counteract the the dark, serious stuff. That that would be nice. Hmm. What do I know? Um, And Sam, Sam, is Sam, is Sam a good guy? What do you think? You know? What do we feel about Sam? Clearly loves his daughter. You know, wasn't necessarily the best father. Uh, but he has this love-hate relationship with Clark, for sure. Uh, maybe he wouldn't... Maybe his only issue is that they got married. Maybe that's the real problem in his head. Because he's just... I don't know. Every scene with him and Clark is is just like... 
two people who don't really like each other, but need to, to work together. Um, and now he's starting up this new 4377 initiative thing, you know? Who knows what that would be, or what it what it would entail. And he wouldn't just break it up and we're never going to see it again. Um, I don't know. It is an interesting question, though. What what can a, somebody like Superman, a superhero, do for the world if they also have to balance family life? And there's always something happening in the world. There's always good Superman can be doing right this second. You know? If the goal is to do the most good overall, he would have no family, no anything. He'd just constantly be saving people from all sorts of situations. But he he has to find a balance. And, you know, he'll deal with the big stuff. I think that's the balance he's going to be taking. I'll deal with the big stuff. Everybody else, you can handle the, the other stuff, you know? I think that's a fair balance for a person. Like if the person really existed and they wanted any sort of normal life. Um, he's on call for the big stuff, you know? It's not a nine to five job. It's an all the time job, but it's just give me the, the, the big ones, you know, that nobody else can do. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> when Edge was eyeing up Lana and Kyle was just completely oblivious not not oblivious but just it just wasn't bothering him at the start of the episode yeah that was funny that was funny she even called him out on it later on oh uh, it's like Edge can do no wrong no wrong in his eyes I wonder, there will be a point this season where he changes his mind on him. And I thought Lana might even convince him in this episode. You know, if your wife is even against him. You know, why are you taking Edge's side against your own wife? You know? Uh, it's not like, it's, and it's not like Kyle himself is unemployed. You know, he's a firefighter. But, I don't know. There seems to be a lot of history with Kyle that has made him this sort of guy who's, you know, I know what it's, I know what it's, <laughs> it's referencing in the real world. I, I do get that. Um, and I understand that he is representing a group of people who do feel that way about certain people. Um, unquestioning loyalty to super rich influencers but uh, that seems to defy all sorts of logic even when it seems to be working against their own interests I get I get I get that so <laughs> <I should. laughs> yeah we'll just leave it there we'll just leave that there oh and second episode in a row no Luther just a little hint of Luther with the the little medallion thing, the hell medallion, but no, um, no Luther. Edge had his right hand woman with him all episode. Lois, <laughs> Lois, extremely brave, you know, when she was there with the both of them, she could have been lasered. Why not kill her? If you were Edge, you had this person with laser vision beside you, and Lois, who was a constant thorn in your side, kill her. Hide the body. You know, she she's just somebody who went missing. You've done it before with other people. I know Lois is pretty high profile. Maybe you don't want the attention. Maybe you don't want the attention. And you have but you have tried to kill her. You tried to kill her in the last episode. Maybe, maybe just do a good job of it, you know? 
wait till she's on a trip somewhere and do it do it then you know so that it can't be people don't suspect you like don't do it in the mine don't do it where you were around wait till she goes somewhere kill her because clark's not paying attention because she's all trust me i I can handle it and he's like of course you can honey (laughs) uh that's what i would do if i was edge if i was super villain you know definitely and uh yeah anyway thanks for watching i'll see you next week for episode five and uh yeah see you then